So Yuri and fucking Riley are going through a really crazy time on social media or on YouTube to be specific. Yuri is doing this thing where he's essentially streaming. And I think he's doing this thing where I think if you donate one dollar, that adds like another minute or another, I think another minute to the stream. So people keep donating and then, you know, he just keeps streaming. So essentially he's going to be streaming for, you know, a consecutive amount of time with no real deadline in place until people stop giving him money. But he's streaming every single day and he's streaming at home and he's streaming also during the time when his girlfriend Riley got fired from her job at No Jumper and is essentially at home all the time. And it's one thing that guys don't really take any notice of. And I think they don't speak about a lot in fucking, you know, Manosphere YouTube is how to kind of deal with living with a partner. Like the, the kind of, you know, the stuff that doesn't get spoken about, you know, little things that you could do to kind of make the experience of living with somebody um, a little bit more pleasurable um, outside of you just liking each other to make the person not secretly hate you. I don't know, like little things like making sure the plates are washed in the morning so the person that wakes up later doesn't have to kind of jump over things to make a cup of coffee, making sure there's maybe, you know, the condiments or the, the bare necessities, sorry, in the fucking cupboards are there in terms of sugar, olive oil, uh, milk in the fridge coffee like as a man there's little things that you can do that can go a long way to kind of make your partner feel like okay cool we're in this together we're riding we're riding together right and another thing that's really important too a small thing that happens often is sometimes if you're living in you know as a as a couple maybe one time one person's up and one person's down you always need to be mindful of that case. So if some, if for instance, the person that's up is up in a big way, let's say for instance, your partner is making way more money than you are. Some, or maybe you're making way more money than they are, sorry, as a guy. Sometimes it's, your responsibility to make sure you don't make them feel bad about it. So if you're recommending, hey, it's date night, let's go out somewhere. Don't pick somewhere that's super expensive and then get annoyed that she doesn't want to go there and split the bill. Or if you do want to go there, just pay for the whole meal itself and say, hey, don't worry, baby, it's on me. But even then sometimes, try and make it kind of manageable without kind of, you know, letting it be known that you're taking into account that she maybe doesn't have any money because she's unemployed or whatever it may be. Little things like that. And another smart thing to do also is that if somebody's unemployed, especially if it's a girl, because girls usually get in their heads about things a lot more and are a lot more emotional when it comes to the job stuff and maybe life security and shit, right? Which is understandable. But if that's the case and you're a dude and you got the job and she doesn't, you have to make sure, in my opinion, that you leave the house more than her. You have to just get out of the house, go for a drive, go and chill at the coffee shop, whatever. But give each other space. Don't be on top of each other too much. Because I feel like Yuri, Yuri here... Yuri here is kind of causing the issues for himself because he's clearly in a good place. His streaming is popping off. He's gaining some traction. I'm sure off the back of these kind of IRL live streams he's been doing, he's probably, you know, got a, a huge spike in subscribers. People are really paying attention to him. He's feeling like he's finally getting on his way because he's idols Ice Poseidon. So he's finally maybe getting somewhere, you know, to kind of, you know, his career is kind of getting to a place where he's happy. But... On the other side of things, his girlfriend Riley's in a complete opposite place. She was, you know, about to go and do a hairdressing course thing, as she, I think she said. And then at the same time she's going to do the hairdressing course, Adam from the jumper said, hey, don't take the course or whatever, or don't take this side job. I'm going to pay you more because I like you at No Jumper. She he started paying her more, but then soon after, all the drama happened with the old host at No Jumper. Everybody left. Adam had to cut some costs, and he ends up firing her. So he kind of gave her a promotion and then fired her maybe a week later. So she's kind of in a weird space. Cool. Understandable. So as a dude, I think the onus is on you to give the girl a bit of space. Leave the house, go for a drive, go for a skate, hang out, go for some smokes, and chill. But the fact that they're on top of each other is killer and this is what's leading to these fucking arguments look at these arguments they're having on stream all the time they're having these arguments it's absolutely crazy to watch and kind of sad because you're seeing them you know the relationship deteriorate in real time and they both not realizing what's happening i'm sorry i fucked your shit up again oh Always my fuck god your shit up. I'm sorry. look how petty you are you i'm can't, not petty like, you're being rude how over I'm bit, how am I? Please explain by by acknowledging the fact that the stream is being taken no, down. Okay. I can't acknowledge it. No. That's rude. Whatever, dude. No, you're right. If, why are you gonna sit like that? Because I'm <laughs> on the camera right now. That that looks crazy the way you're sitting. Right now, right? <laughs> well, I'm. Here, I'll, I'll, should I just turn off the stream? No. Like, or like, what should I do? Nothing. You look how you're sitting. You're sitting like a, like an L, just so you can be off camera. 
Should we not go? <laughs> no, I want to. Why just would you want to go if you don't even want to go? Just let me camera? chill. We were just having an argument, so it's okay. Bruh. Like, just let me it's chill. It's not for an a argument. Second. It's like me acknowledging the fact that the stream got taken down, and you're like, oh my god, you're so mean to me because I'm acknowledging the fact that the stream got taken down. What, what, where should I go? Do you have an address uh, still? Yeah. So this is all they do on their stream. They're just having all these really strange, exactly, passive aggressive arguments and whatever, maybe bickerings. Because at, at the heart of it, when they're on live stream, people send in tips and donations. And he's got his um, text of speech on. And sometimes people will start trolling and saying mean stuff about Riley, saying mean stuff about Yuri. So the stream is basically playing them off each other. But they've also got underlying issues that they're clearly not resolving. And most of it comes from the financial side of things, which can cause a lot of issues from relationships, even if you're not on camera, even if you're not content creators. Just at home, the inability to pay for stuff and, you know, um, cover bills and lending money, that can cause a lot of issues. So imagine doing that stuff in real time in public, how awful that is. So part of me thinks... There's a part of me that thinks, this is a my theory, part of me thinks, because I kind of, you know, I maybe have a bit more of an understanding how men think as opposed to women. Part of me thinks Yuri is a bit of a pussy and doesn't really want to break up, like, doesn't have the guts to break up with her. He actually wants to break up with her and he's doing that thing that most boys do, where you don't want to break up with somebody, so, that you, so then you start making them want to hate you. Instead of just saying, hey, you know, this isn't working out, let's go our separate ways and be friends. He just would rather kind of you know do this kind of oh let her hate me and then she can leave but clearly she's not positioned to leave because she's unemployed and maybe she has debts and stuff and things to pay like so they're in a really strange position they kind of have to live with each other because i don't think yuri's in a position where he can maybe afford to pay the rent or whatever on his own so he kind of has to stay with her to split the bills but then she also can't afford to go by herself away because she maybe hasn't got all her shit together so they're kind of in this really strange place but it could all be rectified again if maybe yuri kind of was a bit more mature and um kind of you know acted a bit like a man and took the onus to step out of the house a bit more and give yuri a bit of space because i feel like them being on top of each other is what's leading to all the issues they're having and then to continue Another clip <laughs> of Yuri making Riley cry in this one. <laughs> Which is fucking incredible. Don't get me wrong. Um, Riley's not the best judge. He's not the best person to kind of look at these clips because she's also a, an epic crier. Um, they call her Cryly, I think, on the fucking on the stream as a troll, which is awful, right? Um, and it's awful that he doesn't even ban the comment or the word in his chat. He just lets them say it, <laughs> right? About his girlfriend's awful. So she cries all the time. She's clearly an emotional girl. But he doesn't go out of his way not to try to make her cry. He knows what makes her cry. And he doesn't try not to. And then when she starts crying, he kind of gaslights her and stuff. So typical manipulation type of tactics here. Which is interesting because I think Yuri's a little bit of a dweeb. So the fact that he's able to kind of lord this kind of, you know, thing over her is really, really lame on his part. But let's watch the clip anyway, quickly. Why? And then you're crying? Why would you say that? That's fucked up. <laughs> why are you crying? I don't. Why are you so emo? Dude, can we turn around? Why are you so emotional? You just told your girlfriend that you don't think you're a good boyfriend. You should be alone or something. <laughs> and you're surprised she's crying. Most, again, he's lucky she's white. I swear, most of these guys, if you had to deal with a, I think she might have, is she Latina? She might, I don't know. Let, let's say she was a typical Latina woman or a black lady. You would have to deal with somebody hitting you or throwing something at your head. Do you know what I mean? The fact that she's just crying is actually a good response, but he's shocked that she's crying after saying that. Absolutely incredible. Go back, oh, back home. Oh, I do not want to do this that. trip with you dude you're like and that and that kind of like the worst thing also is how punchable his face is he has that kind of a um sarcastic um smile thing that he does right <laughs> like that's the most annoying part of it this face of like oh my god dude what's just the big deal dude and also stop calling your fucking girl dude <laughs> it's so annoying <laughs> like grow up this guy's probably 28 or 29 or something and he's talking like he's 16 like like he's it's it's fucking incredible really and the maturity of a 16 year old that's insane you just said what oh my god I'm, so, I'm everyone, sorry, I'm everyone, sorry, in, the, sorry, everyone in the chat's calling me an abuser now so i'm saying like, I'm like bro like should i not even everyone in the chat's calling me an abuser so the the chat has now become the third will of your relationship 
right? Imagine you you got an apartment with your partner and then your partner's best friend, right? Um, decides to come over because they want to stay with you guys, right? <laughs> and they just stay for too long. They sleep on the sofa. They eat all your shit in the fridge. And because it's your boyfriend's friend, you don't want to say nothing. It's not your place. But you're starting to get annoyed now because you can't do your shit. You can't just take off your bra at the end of work. You can't run around, do your shit at home. You've just got this person living on your fucking couch. That's what the stream chat is now to these guys. The stream chat is the fucking third wheel. And it's dictating a lot of their life together. It's absolutely pathetic. Be in a relationship? Like, am I that terrible of a person? Okay. I can't even talk? No. <laughs> Stop listening to me. Well, you're chat. the one making me seem crazy. Exactly. Like, you're what? making me seem crazy. No, I'm not. <laughs> Look at his face. Manipulation 101. This guy is awful, man. Look, awful, awful. But it's funny, though, because I think he's awful. Don't get me wrong. But I also think they're weirdly perfect for each other. Like, you know, there's some some ownership has to be taken on Riley also. You're a grown-up. So if this guy is getting on your nerves and causing you enough emotional distress, just leave. Go back home to your parents. I know it's a bit of a failure and you don't want to do it. I get it. But if this is what you're going to live like, this is going to where it's going to be, especially with Yuri. He's not quitting streaming anytime soon. He's not the kind of person that's going to take the, you know, the mature route and say, hey, this is obviously causing you some distress. I'm going to wait until you get your job and you're not really around the house too much. And then I'm going to start streaming again. No, he's not going to do that. He's going to keep doing it because he likes to do it. So he's not going to compromise in the slightest. So in that case, I think, I think Riley should take a little bit of ownership in this situation also. But, you know, the situation kind of is the way it is with these people and they're just being super redacted but yeah man trouble in paradise with these guys trouble in flipping paradise with these guys and it honestly isn't going to get any better anytime soon i can almost guarantee you that it's probably going to get worse before it kind of gets better to be completely completely honest